Yo, 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 what's going on? This is your boy, Super Mario. We're joining Chief of Staff's Productions, and today we're going to be talking about Tape Stop, uh, which is a uh, plug-in made by Studio Elite VST, and, um, and basically how you use it in Ableton Live uh, to get its uh, MIDI parameters for this plug-in to uh, work in a fashionable manner. Um, so basically what you do is um, you will want to load this plug-in on any track uh, in Ableton Live, whether it be a drum rack channel, third-party VST, a return track, uh, it really doesn't matter. Just load the VST up. Uh, in this case, I got it on the master track um, to show effect um, and what you heard in the beginning of the video uh, for us to be uh, that's playing in the background. So um, let's just go ahead and stop this beat right now so basically um what you will want to do is again load up the plugin on you whatever channel that you suit to fit and um i would say you could use a midi controller to control the different midi parameters in this plugin but unfortunately um i have an axiom second generation uh, MIDI controller and uh, for some reason I can't uh, get the MIDI parameters for this particular plugin to control on that particular controller um, and I noticed that it only works with the X uh, Y controller that's built into the plugin window uh, in able to live right here um, now unless I'm missing a step and you guys know you can leave a comment uh, in the comment box underneath the video uh, to let me know but um, I figured a way around it and uh, it's using the uh, assignable XY controls uh, for the plugin window so basically what you want to do is um, you want to set your X and Y uh, parameters to uh, or your X and Y controls to the parameters of the uh, of the plugin okay um, your X is gonna control everything going from left to right your Y is gonna control everything going from down to up okay so uh, in this case I'm just only want to control the trigger function and as you see um, the X and the Y um, at default it's gonna say none okay uh, so uh, but if you click on it uh, you'll see four controls that the uh, the um, the plugin will allow you to control um, using the X and Y or MIDI functions or MIDI parameters, and you have a fil uh, filter cutoff, tremolo, speed, and trigger. The the filter cutoff is basically a low pass filter um, built into the plugin, and you have a tremolo effect, and you have speed. And speed is pretty much going to control the slowdown knob on this plugin. So basically. If you want, you get that. If you want to control it in another manner, you get and stuff like that. So, uh, basically, um, I got it on trigger just to control trigger. Uh, on the Y function, if you let's say you wanted to control the filter cutoff at the same time triggering, all you would do is you see notice this uh, little yellow circle go up. Uh, pretty much, it's at the uh, the X zero Y zero uh, point of the graph. And basically, when you slide it at a diagonal, you'll notice as you go down, the filter knob is rotating to the left. And once you cross that halfway point of the graph, then you'll see the X uh, function kick in at the halfway point. And you just keep on drawing that diagonal and you'll see that filter knob just keep on going to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. And finally, you get to the... Uh, all the way to the left value of that and you just slide it over slide that back up and everything is back at default but we don't want to i don't want to control the filter cut off so i'm just gonna keep it at none okay and uh so basically what you do is um uh, basically just slide it from left to right to control the trigger so slide it to the right the left and what I mean uh, you just slide it is this yellow circle that's what I meant uh, just hold down left click on the circle and then slide it to the right slide it back to the left to disable trigger slide it to the right to enable trigger uh, so let's just pick a part in the beat just to show you a live demonstration of how it works all right uh, let's pick this part right here All right, and here come our part to effect. Let's 
and so forth and so on. You see the effect um, or whatnot. Now, if you want to record that in there, basically all you have to do is um, just go ahead and uh, let's say you want to uh, set your point wherever you want to play at. Um, want to make sure, double check, make sure that all your other instruments and anything else is not record enabled. So you see I'm in the clear of that. Um, you really don't have to highlight, but just on the safe side, just highlight whatever track you're affecting, which is the master track that we're doing. And uh, we're just going to hit record button, get your count off. And here we go. And so forth and so on and as you see um, uh, th when I was sliding the yellow dot to the right you'll see my parameters were recorded in there via automation um, so basically that's how you do it with this plugin um, or whatnot now if you had a controller with an XY pad basically you will just slide your finger from left to right in order to control uh, that particular um, uh, function for us the assignable XY controls for this particular plugin. Uh, so basically, that's it for this um, tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, man, just hit me up jcsproductions at gmail.com or drop a comment. Um, just at mention me or Super Mario or whatnot, and uh, I'll get back with you in a timely fashion. Yeah, have a good day and happy production. Holla.